Okay, for this session, all right, we want to go through the binary numbers, which is something all the computer science students uh, have to understand, because uh, computer basically still work very much on base two, which is binary. So the binary number uh, are base two number. So when you deal with base two number okay you need to be able to represent okay values or number in binary the easiest way that uh, we can work with is to imagine a table like this all right of course we will start with the least significant digit over here then move over here okay from your stand your base number all right to power zero upwards and each time you actually double it so you have your one double become two you double it become four and you double it eight sixteen thirty two sixty four and so forth okay uh, typically for your assessment uh, most of the time you will only need eight bits okay but computers nowadays use more than eight bits so if you are presented with a value of binary such as one zero one 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 zero okay and you are asked what is the base 10 number okay so all you have to do is plot them in okay one zero one 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 zero and you look at all the ones okay so you have 32 Okay, so 32 is over here you have your 8 so 8 over here you have your 4 4 over here and you have your 2 2 over here okay you add them up okay so you have 46 so your base 10 number is actually 46 okay so that is how you convert a binary number to a base 10 number Okay, so base 2 number to a base 10 number. But what if you want to work the other way around? Okay, what if you are given a base 10 number? Say, say you are given 46. Fine. So if you are given 46, then what do you need? Well, of course, I will need a 32. Fine. Because it's the closest to 46, so I put a 1 over here. Uh, I can't use a 16 because that will overshot the 46. So I'll go for the next one. So you'll be a eight. Then I am basically already at 40. I need six. So I will have four and two. Then the rest, I'll just pair it with zero. Okay, so a quick way to uh, convert between your base 10 number and your base two number is to imagine a table like this.